As I stepped into the gym for the first time, a mix of nerves and determination coursed through me. The smell of sweat and rubber mats filled the air, and I felt a rush of adrenaline. I had spent years trapped in a marriage that felt stagnant, and today, I was ready to reclaim my sense of self. This was a new beginning, or at least, I hoped it would be. Hey there, you must be new, a voice broke through my thoughts. I looked up and saw him, Finn, the personal trainer. His presence was magnetic, with a smile that could light up the room. I felt something stir within me, something I thought had long been extinguished. I'm Finn. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks. I'm Alara, I managed to say, trying to sound casual despite the flutter in my chest. I could feel my cheeks warm as he extended his hand. The moment our hands touched, a jolt of electricity raced through me. I quickly withdrew my hand, trying to dismiss the sensation. This was not the time to feel anything other than determination. As the days turned into weeks, I found myself looking forward to our training sessions. Finn pushed me harder than I ever thought I could go, but it felt good. Each session was a mix of sweat, laughter, and growing connection. I admired his dedication, but it was more than that. There was an attraction that I struggled to dismiss. It felt thrilling and terrifying all at once. Come on, Alara. You can do one more rep. Finn encouraged me one day, his voice full of enthusiasm. I grunted and pushed through the pain, but my mind was elsewhere. I caught a glimpse of him, the way he focused on me the way his eyes sparkled with encouragement. It made my heart race in a way I hadn't felt in years. Do you ever get tired of this? I asked him during a break, wiping the sweat from my brow. Training people, I mean. Not really. I love helping people find their strength. It's rewarding, he replied, a genuine smile lighting up his face. What about you? What are you hoping to find here? I hesitated. What was I hoping to find? I wanted to reclaim my identity, to feel alive again. But the truth was, part of me was intrigued by him. I guess I just want to feel... empowered. His gaze lingered on me, and I felt a rush of heat flood my cheeks. You're already doing it. Just look at how far you've come. I forced a smile, but inside I was battling with confusion and desire. Every session with him brought a mix of admiration and something deeper that I couldn't quite put my finger on. One day, as we finished an intense workout, I caught a glimpse of his hand reaching for mine to demonstrate a stretch. The touch lingered longer than it should have. My heart raced as I looked into his eyes, searching for something, anything, to ground me. What's happening? I thought my breath catching in my throat. We stood there, a moment stretching into eternity, until I finally pulled my hand away, feeling breathless and confused. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. He started, his voice trailing off. There was a hint of something in his eyes, a spark that mirrored my own confusion. It's okay, I replied, trying to sound nonchalant, but I could feel my heart pounding. I quickly turned away, desperate to regain my composure. What was I doing? I was a married woman, and yet here I was, feeling things I thought I had buried deep down. As I left the gym that day, my thoughts were a whirlwind. Each step felt heavier as I questioned everything. Was I truly ready to face the desires that had been awakened inside me? The gym had become a place of transformation, but it was also a doorway to a world I wasn't sure I wanted to enter. In that moment, I realized that I was standing on the precipice of something new, something thrilling, yet terrifying. As I walked into the gym for my second session with Finn, a surge of memories hit me. I remembered the moments with Mark, my husband, and how our life had settled into a predictable rhythm. We had our routines, dinner at six, TV shows we never missed, 
and weekends spent quietly at home. It was comfortable. Yet, that comfort felt more like a warm blanket that had suffocated me over the years. Just the other day, I had found myself reminiscing about our early days. Mark and I used to be spontaneous, filled with laughter and passion. I closed my eyes, imagining us dancing in the kitchen, the music blaring, and our bodies swaying together. But that had faded, replaced by silence and monotony. Hey, Alara! Finn's voice pulled me from my thoughts. He stood there, his bright smile lighting up the room. My heart raced a little faster, and I felt a thrill I hadn't experienced in ages. Ready to push yourself today? Definitely, I replied, trying to sound confident. But inside, I felt a mix of excitement and confusion. As we started our workout, I pushed through the exercises, focusing on my form. Finn was right there, guiding me. Good job, Alara. You're really improving, he encouraged, his eyes sparkling with genuine admiration. My cheeks flushed at his praise. In between sets, I found myself opening up to him. You know, I've been married for a long time, I said, my voice softer. Sometimes I feel like I've lost who I am. Finn paused, his expression serious. It's easy to lose yourself in a relationship, but it's important to remember who you are too. What do you love to do? I hesitated, searching for the right words. I used to love painting. I haven't picked up a brush in years. Why not? He asked, genuinely curious. I guess life just got in the way. Work, responsibilities, and then, you know, being in a long marriage. I sighed feeling vulnerable. It's like I forgot how to dream. Finn stepped closer, his gaze steady. You should never stop dreaming, Alara. You have to find that spark again. Life is too short to settle. As we continued to work out, a deeper connection formed between us. I could feel it in the way he looked at me, how he listened, and how his touch lingered longer than necessary when he adjusted my posture. It was exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. Near the end of our session, we moved to the mats for some stretching. I could feel the heat radiating from his body as he sat next to me. Our legs brushed against each other, sending a jolt through me. You're doing great, Finn said, his voice low. I can see how hard you're trying. Thanks, Finn. It means a lot coming from you. I smiled, but my heart was racing. It was in moments like this that I felt the pull towards him, the thrill of something new and forbidden. But then, the weight of my marriage crashed down on me like a wave. The comfort of Mark's routine was calling me back, whispering doubts into my mind. What am I doing? I thought. This is not who I am. As Finn leaned in to show me a new stretch, our faces were inches apart. I could see the warmth in his eyes, and for a moment, I forgot everything else. Then, the tension grew. It felt charged, electric. I wanted to lean in, to close that distance, but fear held me back. What would that mean for my life? After our session, I stood in front of the mirror, my heart still racing. I looked at my reflection, searching for answers. What am I doing? I whispered to myself. I was standing on a slippery slope, drawn to the thrill of Finn but terrified of the consequences. As I left the gym, I felt a mix of exhilaration and dread. I was questioning everything, my choices, my marriage, and the path I was on. I had never intended to cross any lines, but now, I felt dangerously close to doing just that. After the intense training session, I felt like a tightly wound spring, ready to snap. The air in the gym was thick with tension, electric and alive. Finn had been pushing me harder than ever, and I was grateful for the challenge. But today, something was different. The way he looked at me, his gaze steady and intense, made my heart race. I could feel the chemistry between us building, and it was both thrilling and terrifying. As I wiped the sweat from my brow, Finn stepped closer. You did great today, Alara, he said, 
his voice low and warm. His eyes sparkled with something more than just coachly approval. I could feel the heat rising to my cheeks. I wanted to say something witty, something that would break the tension, but all I could manage was a shy smile. Thanks, I replied, trying to sound casual, but my heart was pounding in my chest. I wanted him to know how much his words meant to me. They made me feel alive in a way I hadn't felt in years. We stood there for a moment, the noise of the gym fading into the background. I could hear my breath quickening, and I noticed how close we were. Finn leaned in slightly, and I could see the little flecks of gold in his green eyes. It felt like the world had narrowed down to just the two of us, and I was lost in the moment. Then, without warning, he leaned in and kissed me. The touch of his lips against mine was electric. It awakened something inside me, a flood of emotions that I had buried deep. I kissed him back, feeling a mix of desire and guilt. My mind raced with thoughts of Mark, my husband, and the life we had built together. But in that moment, none of that mattered. As the kiss lingered, I felt a rush of adrenaline. It was as if I was stepping off the edge of a cliff, soaring into the unknown. But just as quickly as it began, it ended. We pulled away, both breathless. I could see the surprise in Finn's eyes, but also a flicker of something more. Hope, perhaps. What just happened? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. The weight of my question hung in the air like a storm cloud. Finn ran a hand through his hair, clearly flustered. I... I don't know, Alara. I just felt this connection between us, and I couldn't help myself. His honesty made me feel both exhilarated and terrified. I took a step back, trying to regain my composure. This is wrong, Finn. I'm married. My heart sank as I spoke the words. I had promised myself to Mark, even if our marriage had become a routine void of passion. I know, he replied, his expression pained but can you honestly say you've been happy? His question pierced through my defenses. I opened my mouth to respond, but found no words. He was right, but admitting it felt like a betrayal. Finn took a deep breath, his frustration evident. Ilara, I care about you. I see the real you, the you that's been hidden away. I felt a flicker of hope at his words, but it was quickly overshadowed by guilt. This can't happen, I said firmly, shaking my head. I need to think about my marriage. The thought of Mark's face filled my mind, and my heart ached at the idea of hurting him. Finn stepped closer again, his voice softening. Just think about it. You deserve to feel alive, to be happy. I could see the sincerity in his eyes, and it made me question everything. After what felt like an eternity, I finally nodded. I need to go. I turned and walked away, my heart heavy with confusion. Each step felt like a battle, my mind racing with questions. What did this kiss mean? Who was I really? Standing in front of the mirror later that night, I stared at my reflection. I barely recognized the woman looking back at me. I had lost myself in the routine of life with Mark, and now I felt like I was on the brink of something new and thrilling but also dangerous. As I gazed into the mirror, I whispered to myself, What do you want, Alara? But I had no answers, only the weight of my choices pressing down on me. As days turned into weeks, I found myself tangled in a web of secrecy and desire. Each moment I spent with Finn was both thrilling and terrifying. The gym became my sanctuary a place where I could escape the reality of my home life. I would rush through my day, my heart racing at the thought of our next training session. Ready to push your limits today? Finn's voice would cut through the noise in my mind, pulling me into the present. His eyes sparkled with enthusiasm, making it hard to focus on anything else. I would nod, feeling a rush of excitement mixed with dread. Yes, I was ready. Ready for the workout and ready for him. But outside the gym, the weight of my choices pressed heavily on my shoulders. At home, 
I wore a mask of normalcy. I would sit at the dinner table with Mark, trying to engage in conversation about his day, while my mind would drift to Finn. I would laugh at Mark's jokes, but my thoughts were elsewhere, racing toward our next encounter. Alara, are you listening? Mark's voice broke through my thoughts one evening as he looked at me with concern. Of course, just thinking about work, I lied, forcing a smile. He nodded slowly, but I could see the doubt in his eyes. The distance between us was growing, and I felt it like a chasm. Every time I glanced at Mark, guilt clawed at my insides. I was betraying him, yet the thrill of my secret affair with Finn was intoxicating. I began to crave the stolen moments with Finn even more. The touches, the laughter, the shared glances that lingered longer than they should. One afternoon, after an especially intense workout, we found ourselves alone in the gym. The air was charged with unspoken words and heavy breaths. Can I tell you something? Finn asked, his voice low as he stepped closer. Sure, I replied, my heart pounding in my chest. I think about you all the time, he admitted, his gaze piercing through me. My breath caught in my throat. Finn, we shouldn't... I started, but my words trailed off as he reached out and brushed a stray hair behind my ear. Why not? What we have is real, he said softly, his fingers lingering on my skin. In that moment, I was lost. I stepped closer, drawn to him like a moth to a flame, but as our lips met, the thrill was quickly overshadowed by a wave of guilt. I pulled away, breathing heavily. I can't do this, I whispered, my heart racing in panic. Alara, you don't have to feel guilty, Finn said, his voice steady. You deserve to be happy. As I left the gym that day, my mind was a storm of emotions. I wanted to feel free with Finn, but the reality of my life with Mark weighed heavily on me. I longed for the excitement that Finn brought, yet I felt trapped by the life I had built. At home, Mark seemed more attentive than ever. He would surprise me with little gestures, a cup of coffee in the morning, a sweet text during the day. Each act of kindness made my heart ache. Hey, everything okay with you? Mark asked one night as we watched TV together. Yeah, just tired. I replied, forcing a smile. He reached for my hand, and I felt a pang of guilt wash over me. How could I tell him about Finn? How could I explain the growing distance between us? As the days passed, the dichotomy of my life became unbearable. I craved the thrill of my affair, but every moment with Finn was now shadowed by the guilt of what I was doing to Mark. One evening, after a particularly heated exchange with Finn, I returned home to find Mark waiting for me. We need to talk, he said, his tone serious. My heart raced. The chasm between us felt wider than ever, and I knew I had to confront my feelings. Okay, I replied, my voice trembling. The moment stretched out, and I felt the weight of my choices pressing down on me. The thrill of my secret life with Finn was intoxicating but the reality of my marriage to Mark was suffocating. I was caught in a dance of deception, and I knew it couldn't last forever. As the days passed, my double life began to unravel in ways I never expected. I could feel the tension hanging in the air at home. Mark was different. He seemed to notice me more, his eyes searching mine for something I didn't want to reveal. I tried to keep my cool, but guilt gnawed at me like a hungry animal. One evening, after a long day, I found myself in the kitchen, aimlessly chopping vegetables. Mark walked in, his expression serious. Hey, Alara, he said softly. Are you okay? You seem... distant. I forced a smile, the weight of my secret pressing down on my chest. I'm fine, just tired, I replied, hoping my voice didn't betray me. Is there something you want to talk about? he asked stepping closer. His concern was genuine, and that only made my guilt worse. I shook my head, avoiding his gaze. I couldn't tell him about Finn. I couldn't shatter what little we had left. 
Later that night, I lay in bed, the darkness wrapping around me like a thick blanket. My phone buzzed beside me, cutting through the silence. It was a message from Finn. Can we talk? I need to see you. My heart raced. I knew I shouldn't, but the thought of seeing him again sent a thrill through me. I glanced at Mark, who was asleep beside me, his face peaceful. I felt a pang of guilt, but also a deep desire. I typed back quickly, Yes. Where? As I tossed and turned, I couldn't shake the feeling of being pulled in two different directions. The next day, I met Finn at a small cafe. The moment I saw him, the tension I had built up inside began to fade. He smiled, and it felt like the sun breaking through clouds. Hey, he said, his voice warm. I'm glad you came. Me too, I replied, trying to steady my heartbeat. I've been thinking a lot. About us? He leaned in closer, his eyes searching mine. I felt exposed, like he could see right through my carefully constructed walls. Yes, I admitted, my voice barely above a whisper. I'm torn, Finn. I feel guilty about Mark, but I can't ignore what I feel for you. He reached across the table, his fingers brushing mine. Alara, this is complicated. I care about you but I don't want to be the reason you hurt someone else. I pulled my hand back, fear creeping in. But I'm the one making choices. I'm the one who decided to... to be with you. Finn sighed, looking torn. I just don't want you to regret this. You have a life, a marriage. I nodded, feeling the weight of his words. I know. But every moment with you feels alive. It's like I'm waking up from a long sleep. He smiled softly, his thumb brushing over his lips. You deserve to feel alive. But at what cost? The conversation hung heavy between us, filled with unspoken truths and fears. I wanted to reach out and close the distance, but the reality of my life with Mark loomed over me like a storm cloud. I finally broke the silence, my voice trembling. What if Mark finds out? What happens then? Finn's expression shifted, becoming more serious. Alara, we need to think about the consequences. You have to decide what you really want. His words echoed in my mind, long after we parted ways. I walked home, my heart heavy with conflict. I loved the thrill of being with Finn, but I also felt the weight of my commitments. As I entered my house, Mark was already there, waiting for me on the couch. Hey, you're back, he said, trying to sound casual, but I could see the worry in his eyes. Yeah, I replied, forcing a smile. Just went for coffee. Mark nodded but didn't say more. I knew he was still watching me, still sensing that something was off. I felt like I was living in a tightrope act, teetering between the life I had and the life I wanted. Just as I settled onto the couch beside him, my phone buzzed again. It was another message from Finn. I can't stop thinking about you. Can we meet again? My heart raced. I knew I shouldn't, but a part of me longed to see him, to feel that spark again. I glanced at Mark, who was oblivious, lost in his thoughts. The risk was high, but the pull was stronger than ever. As I typed my reply, I felt a mix of excitement and dread. I was standing on the edge of a decision that could change everything. I never thought this day would come. My heart raced as I stared at my phone, a sinking feeling settling in my stomach. The message from Finn was still visible on the screen, the words echoing in my mind. I knew I should have deleted it, but I was caught up in a moment of weakness. Just as I was about to lock my phone, Mark walked into the room. What's that? He asked, his voice steady but laced with curiosity. I froze, my heart pounding louder than ever. It's just a message from a friend, I stammered, trying to sound nonchalant. Mark's eyes narrowed. A friend? You never mentioned any new friends. His voice was calm, but I could feel the tension rising between us. I took a deep breath, trying to steady myself. It's nothing serious, just someone from the gym. His brow furrowed. 
Alara, if it's nothing serious, why do you look so nervous? I felt trapped. I could either lie or tell the truth, but I knew the truth would cut deeper than any lie. I just... I don't want to talk about it right now, I said, my voice barely above a whisper. Mark stepped closer, his eyes searching mine. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? I felt the weight of his words. I'm not hiding anything, I insisted, but even I could hear the lie in my voice. He reached for my phone, and a chill ran down my spine. Let me see. I panicked. Mark, please don't, I pleaded, but it was too late. He grabbed the phone from my hand, his expression shifting from confusion to shock as he read the message from Finn. What is this? He asked, his voice rising. Who is Finn? In that moment, all the air left my lungs. He's just a trainer, I managed to say, my voice trembling. A trainer? Just a trainer? Mark's voice was sharp, cutting through the silence. This is more than that, Alara. You've been lying to me. I could see the hurt in his eyes, and it tore at my heart. I didn't mean for it to happen, I said, my voice breaking. I never wanted to hurt you. Mark's face was a mixture of disbelief and pain. Then why did you? Why did you let it go this far? I wanted to explain everything, to make him understand the emptiness I had felt. But the words stuck in my throat. I was lost, I finally admitted. I wanted to feel alive again, and Finn made me feel something I thought I'd lost forever. Mark shook his head, his expression a blend of anger and sorrow. And what about us? Did that mean nothing to you? It meant everything to me, I cried, tears streaming down my face. I just... I didn't know how to fix it. I didn't know how to make it better. He stepped back, his arms crossing over his chest, as if to shield himself from the truth. You had a choice, Alara. You chose him over us. I felt a wave of guilt wash over me. I didn't choose him, I protested weakly. I was confused, and I made a mistake. A mistake? He echoed, pain etched across his features. This isn't just a mistake. This is betrayal. The word hung heavily between us. I had betrayed him, and I knew it. I could see the walls he was building around himself, and my heart shattered at the thought of losing him. Mark, please... I begged, stepping closer. I love you. I've always loved you. Love isn't enough when trust is broken, he replied, his voice cold. What you did, it changes everything. I realized then that I was standing at a crossroads. I could either fight for my marriage or let it slip away. What do we do now? I asked, my voice barely a whisper. Mark looked away, his expression distant. I don't know, Alara. I really don't know. In that moment, I felt a deep sense of loss. I stood there, torn between the life I had built and the new feelings that had awakened within me. I had to make a choice, but the weight of it felt almost unbearable. As I looked at Mark, I knew I had to confront my actions and their consequences, no matter how painful it would be. Share this story if you believe that love can triumph over even the toughest challenges. Leave a comment about a time when unexpected feelings changed your life, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories like this one.